Namaste to everyone and uh, Jai Hind. My name is Abhas Saini and welcome to Verbal Math by Abhas Saini. Today I am going to teach in English language because uh, I received so many requests from southern region and uh, they feel inferior because uh, everyone like uh, everyone uh, speak in Hindi, uh, especially those who teach SSC students. So I am trying my level best. So please understand uh, this is my first video in English language. Uh, so let's start with the topic. Today's topic is Stewart theorem. Stewart theorem. Stewart theorem is actually the theorem. You can say the very very important theorem in terms of geometry. Like uh, we everyone know, uh, uh, like everyone know about Pythagoras theorem. This is you can say this stand with Pythagoras theorem as well. This Stewart theorem is uh, carry same importance as Pythagoras theorem. Why? Uh, first of all, let me tell you what is Sevians. Suppose uh, there is a triangle, okay, triangle ABC, and I'm drawing one line from A to BC. And uh, suppose I'm saying AD is a straight line, okay. It can be altitude, it can be median, it can be anything. It can be any line which divide BC in any ratio. Okay. So if I'm saying AD is Cvian, then I'm correct. But if I say, if uh, su suppose uh, I'm asking you, okay, uh, I'm asking one question. Is perpendicular bisector, I'm hoping that everyone know about perpendicular bisector is, perpendicular bisector is actually, Let's say uh, there is a line and if I am drawing one uh, semicircle from here and uh, I am keeping compass here and uh, opening compass more than half and drawing one arc from here, this point and uh, one arc from here. Okay, and uh, now I am drawing one straight line and joining this straight line to this center where I keep my compass, kept my compass. Okay. So this line is actually the perpendicular bisector. So I am asking is perpendicular bisector is Cvian? So your answer must be no. Median is Cvian? Median is Cvian? Yes. You can say median is Cvian perpendicular. Uh, if I am drawing perpendicular, then it is also Cvian, but perpendicular bisector is not Cvian. Why? See, uh, let me give you one example. Suppose this is our triangle. Okay. And I am drawing perpendicular bisector on this base. This base. This is BC. Okay. So, it will be like this only. Okay. This is the perpendicular bisector. But the condition for CVN is, it must be start from an, uh, some vertex. Like, it must be start from A and then it will be drawn on BC. It can be start from B and then it will be fall on AC and likewise from C to AB. So I can say that perpendicular bisector is not Cvian. Why I am telling you this? Because Stewart theorem work with Cvians. Let me introduce what is Steven, uh, Stewart theorem. We don't need to do proof of Stewart theorem. Okay. Uh, because uh, I, as I mentioned earlier that it is same. Uh, it carries the same important importance as uh, per, uh, Pythagoras theorem. So you can say that Stewart theorem, we must learn the basic or you can say the statement, the mathematical statement of Stewart theorem. What is this? First of all, uh, this is your triangle ABC and AD is any CVN, any CVN. Okay. Let's say AB, is, this is A, this is B, this is M, uh, this BD is M and CD is N. So that means AD is a CVN which divides BC into M ratio N. Okay. And this is X. So Stewart theorem states that if I take A square N plus B square M equals to M plus N and here X square plus MN. This result is actually the Stewart theorem. This is the you can say father concept or mother concept of so many uh, theorem and uh, it will definitely come in your exam in SSC, in, in, especially in SSC. They ask question directly on Stewart theorem or extension, which I'm going to tell you in a uh, few minutes. 
Okay, so this is your Stewart theorem. I am again stating that if if I take A D as a C V N, then this result is true for all type of triangle. Okay, all type of triangles. So this is your Stewart theorem. Now let's see. I'm I'm sure everyone heard about uh, Apollonius theorem. Apollonius theorem. Right. What is Apollonius theorem? Apollonius theorem work with medians. Let's say this is your triangle and AD is now median. AD is your now median. That means AD is dividing BC into two equal parts. That means if I am taking this A, this is B, this is X, and here M and again CD is also M. You can say or you can say that M equals to N. So this is your Apollonius theorem in which AD is median. You can say uh, this is the special case of Stewart theorem. This is also very important and this is like uh, I am sure that if uh, anyone is serious about SSC exam then he or she must know about Apollonius theorem. But now you will relate Apollonius theorem with Stewart theorem. Let me write Stewart theorem for this triangle. What is Stewart theorem for this triangle? A square M plus b square m again m okay because i'm taking cd as m now here m plus m that means m plus m and now x square plus m into n that is m square okay so you can do one thing like uh, you can cut this m m and here you have 2 m so you can cut easily cut uh, m on lhs on rhs okay so now I left with this result a square. Okay. So now a square plus b square equals to 2m and x square plus you can take m as bc by 2 whole square. So this, this is your Apollonius theorem. Again, this is very, very important and SSC, you can say that uh, SSC favorite is Apollonius theorem as well or you can say they are asking question on Stewart theorem or extension of Stewart theorem this is you can say daughter concept of Stewart theorem okay now I'm taking second extension in which you uh, you you can easily see that ABC is a triangle ABC is isosceles triangle isosceles triangle in which AB equals to AC suppose I'm drawing uh, this AD. AD is your median. Now, this is a special case of isosceles triangle. Okay. And again, I'm writing here A. Now, B or you can say B equals to A. M and X. First of all, I'm writing Stewart theorem based on isosceles triangle. Okay. Uh, let me say this is your normal triangle, any triangle. And I'm writing Stewart theorem on it. A square N plus B square M equals to b or you can re, uh, write it as a as well a square n plus b square m now m plus n and here x square plus m okay so if i take uh, b square as here here i can uh, rewrite it as a square and uh, once you write a square common m plus n and this m plus n will cancel out with this m plus n uh, which is present on right hand side so x square plus mn so i can easily say that third result is actually x square equals to a square minus mn this is very very important result and uh, i think two or three question asked on this result in cgl 18 mains i think uh, in every shift they asked on ask one question on this result so let me epitomize these all three results in one picture. This is your, uh, you can say, uh, the complete uh, brief of the class. This is your triangle. First result is this one. This is actually the Stewart theorem. Stewart theorem. Okay. Second one is special case Apollonius theorem which is this one second result is Apollonius case Apollonius is based on the triangle in which AD is median third result is actually the isosceles one in which A equals to B 
and uh, in second here m equals to n okay so these three result are very very important if you if you know only stewart theorem you can derive in your exam it will hardly take like uh, 10 second and you can reach uh, to second result and third result but uh, i am again uh, telling you that this diagram this diagram is very very important you will definitely see this diagram in your examination this diagram uh, this one let me uh, draw it on the page okay so this diagram because they they ask one question on this diagram and now uh, i'm giving you one homework okay this is uh, this is a very short session because uh, i'm speaking english like after uh, around 4 5 years so i'm facing some very uh, difficulty while speaking english so let me uh, give you one homework okay this is your homework this question you have to write answer in the comment box and this question is from your previous year okay this is very very important and uh, one disclaimer i just want to tell you that if you want me to teach in english uh, like uh, if you want that uh, i must teach in english and i should uh, launch my super 100 batch or spartan batch in english as well you must uh, uh, share this video with your uh, fellow aspirants who understand english and who who are waiting for english language uh, videos okay so you can share if i get a uh, good response i'll definitely uh, make second video as well and then third video and so on and uh, this is you can say this is the demo video and i'm trying my level best uh, to help uh, to everyone because all indians are my brother and sister <laughs> <laughs> this is the plan actually so this is all i think uh, you like the session and uh, you understood the gravity of the stewart theorem stewart theorem is very very important and you must know about it and uh, in comment section you can share your feedback and uh, you can say whatever you want to say about the session thank you so much and session dismissed bye bye